Hello everybody, welcome back. It is Jeff again, and I'm actually here with a slight tutorial video for you guys. It has recently come to my attention that many people were asking the question of how is the easiest way to make thumbnails for your videos that you could change them episodically, such as I show here, in the easiest format possible. I taught myself how to do a method. I thought it was just a pretty simple, straightforward, easy method. And then in doing some research and talking to some people, I found out that many people have many different methods out there. Some of them involve different types of paint programs that show things in a completely different way and a different, um, different layers and things like that so that you can more easily edit the numbers on certain layers, et cetera, et cetera. I wanna show you my way that I use in case it helps you out utilizing PowerPoint. So PowerPoint is a tool that most, or a program that most people have on their computer. I can't say everybody's if you don't have it, it's is not gonna be a way that you can do this. But if you do have PowerPoint, easiest way I found, open up a PowerPoint, start a blank presentation. You can delete everything else out of it right now. I don't need that stuff. I'm gonna import a picture, I'm gonna paste a picture, however I get a picture, I can go and take a screenshot, take it into paint, just cut and paste it right into here, or in a case like this, I have a picture I know saved on the computer. I'm gonna go insert my picture. Let's go grab my picture over here from my thumbnail section where I deal with all of this stuff. And let's take a Spelunky picture, for example. So those are the ones I've already saved as thumbnails. Here's like the Spelunky picture that I just had on my computer. So you put the Spelunky picture here. Now, unfortunately, it's not as easy as just taking this thing to the edges and then stretching the picture out. Because even when I just stretch the picture out, I still got a lot of extra slide down here. So if I save this as a picture now, it would have all this white space as well. It's not even as easy, you can't just stretch it out, anything like that either, because now it's just a stretched out picture. So you wanna make sure you keep the aspect ratio. I just didn't undo twice to bring it back to what it originally was. You have to make your slide the same size as the, um, as the picture itself. You do this in page setup, but you need to know what numbers you're going for here. Easiest method to do. Whatever picture you have in here, right click on it, go to format picture, go to the screen um, or the option of size and it will tell you right here, this picture in PowerPoint inches, cause it goes by inches, it's 3.13 inches by 6.25 inches. So just keep those numbers in mind, but be careful because watch, if I go to my page layout right now, my page setup and change my height to 3.13 and my width to 6.25, I'm gonna get some unexpected consequences by doing it just like this. If I hit the button, notice it resized the slide, but it is well resized the picture that was sitting on the slide. So that doesn't help us at all either. So if I'm gonna hit Control Z to undo that again. What you wanna do first is put the picture itself into your clipboard. So I just hit Control X, I cut it into my clipboard, and now I'm gonna to go to my page setup, change my, change my height, change my width to exactly what the size of the picture was, hit OK, and now I'm gonna paste. When I paste now, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. When I paste now, notice this picture is the exact size of this frame. So, boom, I just moved it in. It is the exact size of this frame. So now I have a picture that's sitting here and all I need to do is insert things like um, word art. I can take a different colored word art if I want to, that PowerPoint comes standard with. If I just wanna put a numbered title here, I can go like episode number 24. Um, I can resize this however I want by making my text bigger if I wanted to. Uh, maybe I don't like this word out, I wanna change the word out. So come up here when you select it, if you come up here, you can change the style of your word art. Now I'm only changing part of it though, but I can change the style of my word art, find one that I like better to put on the picture, etc. I can do many other different things. I can add different pictures on top of this. And some of mine, I have the Minecraft logo in the corner that I put over here on an overlay of a picture. Um, I could just do standard old text boxes. I could insert them and just have normal typing as opposed to the word art type of typing. And then you just have to format your, your text to the way that you want it formatted, the color, the, uh, like I'll make it an orange color, let's make it bigger so you can see it. You know, you can change the font of it, you can do whatever you want. But this method is something that I found the easiest way to make a picture. Um, so now I got it set up on my screen. What I'd wanna do is I'd wanna save this as a PowerPoint so that I have this to come manipulate later. So I'll save this as like, I like a PowerPoint. And then I can come right in here on the next one, change the slide number. And when I save it for the final time, go to file, 
go to save as and change your save as type down here to either a JPG, uh, a PNG, um, some picture format that you want to save in. So now I'm going to save this as a JPG. I will call it my Spelunky test. It will save. I'm going to tell it it's the current slide only. It'll only save one at a time. So I'm going to do the current slide only. And now I'm done. So as long as I save this as the PowerPoint itself, I'll be able to come back into it later. So I'll show you, for example, I'm done with this. I don't really want to save this personally. Um, I want to go to my my thumbnails again. And for example, I have all my Spelunky thumbnails. I have my Minecraft thumbnails, etc. Here's my daily challenge when it's a PowerPoint. So let's open the, the daily challenge. Let's say I did another daily challenge. Boom, Spelunky daily challenge. These are all word arts. I can change them to uh, the last one I just ran was 1220. So I go change it to 1220, do a save as save it as a JPG, call it whatever I want to, and it's gonna be in there. I actually have done that earlier because I've played that one. But like, for example, like this is just a JPG of my Spelunky Daily Challenge for the 28th. 28th, 24th, and 25th is one I did three of. But this is what the picture is. Thumbnail, real easy to do, real easily editable for your sequential episodes, and you can very easily get it right. The Like I said, the nuances are you need to get the slide the exact same size as the picture, which is easy to do. Just look at the properties of the picture in PowerPoint. But make sure you cut the picture to your clipboard before you change the, the size of the slide or it'll just stretch your picture out. So that was something that had tripped me up at first, but hopefully I've helped you guys out. So I hope you enjoyed and it works for you.